Now, youngsters love to express themselves in all sorts of ways. Harper found expression with his stuffed toy menagerie. These children I'm about to visit love to draw, and their parents have come up with the intriguing idea of turning their playroom into a kid-sized gallery for displaying their works of art. Hey, Jenny. Hey, How are you? Good Steve? Time. Nice to meet you. So I understand we got a basement job, huh? We do. Let's take a look. So this is it. This is where the cork board's going to go. This is it. Yep. Now, why do you want to put cork up? Well, the kids entertain their friends down here, and we wanted them to be able to put things up on the walls, their posters and artworks, and make it their own place. Without uh, ruining your walls there? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Uh, where are the kids right now? They're upstairs creating artworks. I think. Ah, getting ready for this, <laughs> eh? Yep. While the kids work on their creations for the soon-to-be art wall, Mom, Dad, and I get started on the project. Now, this is the cork that we're actually going to put up on the wall. Now, some people might just glue this right onto the wall, but I don't want to do that for two reasons. First of all, the push pins that we'll be using right here, you see they're so long they go right through this cork material, that would leave you with a ton of small holes in the wall if you ever wanted to take this off. But mm -hmm. even worse, if we glue this on and try to remove it, it'll pretty much ruin the face of the uh, wall board here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use a different method to put this up. Now, the other thing that we're going to have to decide is where on the wall you actually want to put this. Now, we could start it right down here at the baseboard, or we could raise it up anywhere here on the wall, wherever you would like it. What do you think? What well, looks good to you? We begin by figuring out just how high we want the bottom edge of the cork border. Higher? Higher. Higher? <laughs> yeah, that looks good. About here. How does that And settle on 30 inches. After measuring, we strike a chalk line across the wall. Our cork border will be put up in sections or panels that we'll attach directly to the wall studs. Now, since we can't see the studs, Steve uses an electronic stud finder to locate them. Just Our final the preparation wall. step is to attach That's these good. strips of lumber, or ledgers as they're called, that will temporarily support the panels when we put them up later on. Okay, guys, the, the cork we'll be using is a quarter inch thick and comes in large rolls, which we'll want to trim down to a more workable size. Okay, right. I want to do first of all, let's just do a, a rough cut on this. Now this is an eighth inch untempered masonite or fiber board. This is going to be a backing for the cork. We're going to glue the cork to this using the contact cement. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's pour a little bit of this water-based, non-flammable contact adhesive. We'll pour some in a paint tray here. And we want to really soak the roller with this, okay? Okay, Jenny, why don't you come down here and start applying this to the cork. Okay. Steve, if you begin up there. Both the cork board and the masonite should be given a coat of contact cement. In fact, a second coat is recommended for the cork board because the porous material tends to soak up the adhesive. Okay, the contact cement is dry on both pieces. All right, now we can mate them together. But let's put this up first. This is called a slip sheet. I don't, we don't want these to stick until we've got them in exactly the right position. So that'll keep the uh, two surfaces from touching each other. We're going to put the glue side down on the plastic. Okay. There we go. The masonite with the cork on it. Let's move it up here. Got it? The cork is positioned on top of the masonite so that the edges are flush. The slip sheet is then carefully pulled from between the two panels, while a roller is used to press the adhesive covered surfaces into contact with each other. Okay. To avoid bubbles, we roll from the center out toward the edges. We bond several more sheets of cork to the masonite backing boards. Then it's time for installation. Jenny measures the first section of wall, and Steve cuts a panel to fit. Next, Jenny and Steve lift the panel into position and set the bottom on the temporary ledger we installed earlier. The ledger supports the panel while we begin attaching it to the wall studs with screws. A piece of string with a weight on the end is lined up with the marks we made earlier, showing the location of the wall studs. It makes a great guide telling us exactly where to place the screws. Loose edges next to the door frame are easily secured with a pneumatic nail gun. A rotary saw used to make openings in wallboard quickly makes a cutout for the light switch. Now the pace quickens as we place one panel after another into position. Okay. 
With the panels up, we can now take the temporary ledger down. Look at that. Okay, well, we've got all this up. You guys did a great job. Well, that's looking great. It, uh, it looks very nice, but I want to do uh, two things. I'm going to put up some trim right along the edges here to sort mm -hmm. of hold the edges down and also to conceal them. And then some more trim here to cover these screws and these seams right here. So let's cut that and start putting it up, all right? Okay. You just put that, yeah, that's great. That, make, that way we make sure we've got a nice fit in the corner there. We're not going too far. Okay, now we're going to nail right into the stud here. So it's going to hold this. After adding the trim molding, our cork border really starts to take shape. Well, we did it. We sure did. I nice. kind of like this. I think it looks great. And the best thing about it is if your plans change or your tastes change, you can have this out of here in an hour. Really, a little spack. That's great. Mm -hmm. you did it. I'm going to head down the road. Thank you so much. You guys are great to work Thanks with. Thanks so much. Well, I'd hardly gotten out the door when the kids went to work decorating their new wall, creating a style all their own. All right. We got her done. <laughs>